Good morning, friends. It's Thursday of Holy Week. I'm thinking of you in my morning prayers and I'm thinking about how I miss every one of you. Um, you'll see I'm drinking coffee out of a special mug today and it is certainly going to make Susie and Larry Peterson happy and maybe many others. Uh, the Petersons actually went to K-State the same years that my parents did, which I think is pretty cool. It's pretty cool for a tiny little world uh, that we have created at Eternal Hills. I'm drinking from this particular coffee cup. I save it for very special days because it reminds me of my dad, and today is definitely a day of remembrance. It's Maundy Thursday, and it's the day that we remember the new mandate that our Lord Jesus gave to us. On the very night that he ended up being arrested, betrayed by Judas with a kiss. I want to share this special picture that I have at my prayer station. You see, I've already lit my candle. I've already put some water in my, um, what I call my little baptismal font. I think you could really only baptize a doll or something, but here's my picture. This is a picture of my dad. You've never met him except through me, but he died when I was in college. Do you think we look alike? I think we do in the eyes. I think my son Steven has it too a little bit. Those um, puffy eyes under the eyes are not just a sign of too much work during Holy Week. It's what we call chappy eyes because my great granddad had them as well. So we always were very proud of them. Today, as we think about Monday, Thursday, I want you to remember this mandate. Serve one another in love. What a beautiful thing. You know, part of every kind of um, remembrance we do, remember when we broke bread last week, I said we Remember our Lord Jesus when we join together and when we do something together, we are putting back together the body of Christ. But we can do that with those we love and those who we miss so badly. Ooh, the sun's just coming up over the, over the mountains over there and it's going to be a gorgeous day, I can already tell. So I think what we'll do is go with a little bit of that beautiful sunlight and today I encourage you to um, get out pictures of your parents, talk about them with your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren. You never want to let those memories go. It's how we can also celebrate the resurrection right at home, right in our families, is that we tell the story of one another and we tell the story of how our faith developed with the help of our parents, or maybe maybe our parents weren't faithful. And that's a good story too. That's a good way to remember things as well. Let's pray. Oh Lord, let my soul rise to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Today will be a busy day for many people and a very slow and quiet day for others. We ask, oh God, that you would bless every little bit of business that we do. That as we sit or as we uh, run errands or go from place to place or, or clean our homes or do our schoolwork, that we would always be mindful of you. Jesus, you have loved us. You have called us brother and sister and you have shown us how to love one another as well. So we ask you this morning and every morning to be a part of our every day. And in that way, we are remembering you. And we are recreating that body of Christ that is meant to serve the world. We know it's so desperately needed right now. So help us even work harder. To you be the kingdom and the glory and the power forever. Amen. Have a beautiful day. Don't forget we have a Maundy Thursday service. It'll be different, just a few songs and some scripture readings, and we'll be sharing stories, but it'll be 
Facebook Live, and we will enjoy doing that with you and for you.